Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party and Momentum are exposed for breaking the election rules and we talk about the latest health updates with the government giving its latest advice. Well, today's going to be a big video. We have an exclusive uh, leak, uh, an expose that's been done by the website Wolves of Westminster. Uh, we have been given a document that exposes the Labour Party and Momentum, specifically the, the campaign group that was behind Jeremy Corbyn's um, leadership election and now uh, but since then they've been running the Labour Party and now they're behind Rebecca Long Bailey's election campaign. Uh, so we're going to go through this uh, document uh, towards the end of the video we're going to give you the latest health updates uh, from the government and the reaction to it from the media uh, with uh, Katie Hopkins going up against Nigel Farage. And uh, so let's start with the uh, momentum. So this is a document we received uh, from the walls of Westminster uh, that exposes uh, momentum uh, misleading its activists into breaking the election rules. Uh, so uh, according to the Walls of Westminster, they've revealed that uh, the pro-Corbyn campaign group Momentum, along with many of its activists, committed significant breaches of electoral law during the uh, general election campaign. Uh, this is uh, the 2019, the latest recent general election that we just had. Uh, the offences relate uh, to the mass printing and uh, dissemination of election leaflets with an invalid imprint which is illegal under the Political Parties, Elections and Referendums Act of 2000. Now this is a side campaign that they started during the 2019 election stuff uh, to uh, start spreading fake news about the NHS so they did a lot of uh, NHS related leaflets around the country. So we're now used to having the Labour Party cheat and local elections, council elections, and uh, specific constituencies. Uh, we remember what happened in Peterborough during the by-election and what happens on a regular basis in Tower Hamlet in London, uh, where they find various ways to cheat their way into winning, and they, they're quite successful. Uh, but this time it's nationwide, and it's going to be quite big, and I believe, hopefully, the mainstream media will pick this up at some point. I think there's a big push to make this happen. So let's uh, get into the details. So these screenshots uh, refer to an email that was sent by a Chloe Tomlinson, a Momentum officer who uh, the sources say uh, hosted the uh, organizing calls and everything in the past. Uh, the, this guide suggested ordering the election materials in bulk uh, from a company called Solar, Solar Press uh, or another similar mass printing service while also directing activists to a Facebook group set up by Momentum to allow members with some money to uh, spare to cover each other's costs uh, for this campaign expense. This is a, an example of a leaflet that they created, the, the Labour created the NHS, our beloved NHS, the envy of the world, and how the Tories are going to privatise it. You know, obviously, that's always been the plan, apparently, even, even though it's never happened, even though we've had conservative governments <laughs> previously. Uh, so these, these are sort of uh, misleading fake news leaflets that were created and they've got quotes from emergency nurse practitioners like Lucy uh, Shapcott. Uh, so, and when you look at the actual uh, the details, um, it, it appears that both Momentum, the, the actual Momentum campaign, Limited, uh, and every individual activist who was misled into causing these materials to be printed um, have, are actually guilty of uh, an offence under section 143. According to Schedule 20 of the Act, uh, the maximum penalty for such an offence is a fine at level 5 on the standard scale. Now, this is an unlimited amount if it actually happens. Uh, we have to kind of uh, wait and see if uh, the authorities would do anything about this. Now, we do have some WhatsApp screenshots now, before we show you the actual leaked WhatsApp conversations that we have from uh, Momentum, it just a warning, it shows you the idiocy of uh, the people, the organizers. So the ordinary activists out there from each party, uh, they, uh, they, they, they're not obliged to follow every single regulation to make sure that everything's going well. The, the agents and the, the campaigners, the organizers, it's their job uh, to advise things properly. Now, uh, <laughs> let's have a look at this uh, group chat because we have a message from uh, Michelle. The group chat was called Let's Go NHS, obviously. Uh, it says, hi, I have a similar query. Uh, I spoke to the local Labour Party this morning who I am canvassing with tomorrow uh, to ask how many leaflets I should get printed to bring along tomorrow. And then they raised the same query that they were concerned about the electoral uh, expenses. 
and I would need to get okay from the uh, local coordinator. So someone actually raised a concern and, and then uh, we had others responding uh, to this. Uh, I mean, actually there's another person, Joe, that said, hi Miranda, we have a Facebook group where people offer to help each other with costs, well, that's, I'm sure it's costs, <laughs> for campaigning purposes. It's not charity, it's solidarity. Uh, Lucy used this yesterday and someone helped her with printing costs. Yeah, you can't do this, guys. Like, <laughs> it doesn't work this way. And, and some of them probably didn't know, but the people in charge definitely knew this. So we had Chloe, the person in charge, responding, brilliant, with spending, the best thing to do uh, organize printing yourself as a volunteer or activist rather than an official Labour Party or group then ask someone in this group to sponsor you. It's a very unofficial system, but help. Uh, but people are genuinely happy to cover the costs. So don't be afraid to ask big order lots, including leaflets and badges. You know, there's another word for unofficial. Yeah, not legal. <laughs> it's, there's, a, there's a reason we have procedures and uh, the formalities. I, I don't understand. Um, the organizers like Chloe Tomlinson and others have been in momentum for a long time at least when it comes to the labor party and the left these are professional activists they live their life like that like jeremy corbyn we always say jeremy corbyn is not really a politician he's a student activist in the clothing of a politician uh, so these people are obsessed with knowing how these sort of things work uh, so it's unreal that this actually happened and uh, now we, the rest of the conversation is good because Michelle replies, say, actually, thanks, thanks, Chloe. Does that mean we don't have to worry about the election expenses thing then? And uh, uh, we have others who will basically keep talking about the actual printing stuff. And uh, Annie says, uh, I'm volunteering in the Momentum office. I'm 99% sure that the leaflets aren't included in the electoral spending, but I'm just checking with our compliance guys and we'll get back to you with the exact answer ASAP. Uh, leaflets you are printing yourselves are not regulated uh, electoral spend. You know what's funny? This is the same group of people who, during the 2016 EU referendum and post uh, the actual campaign, went around and said, vote leave, broke the rules, vote leave, cheated. That's how we got Brexit. Uh, they it, printed extra leaflets. They spent more money. Yeah, it, it wasn't this scale. And it, <laughs> you cannot even compare what you guys are doing to what Vote Leave did, because Vote Leave didn't actually break any rules, and it was uh, when we did the appeal and everything, it was proven. Uh, the Electoral Commission even apologized eventually to Darren Grimes. Uh, now, the rest of it. Chloe confirms it definitely doesn't, and then said, You can definitely do that, that would be great. And uh, Ian says, Great, many thanks for the clarification. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is after all these guys checked with their compliance officers and everything, and they still said, yeah, let's just go with it. And we have examples. These are leaflets and posters that they prepared for uh, Thorock. Uh, we also have some that they were preparing for Peterborough and uh, other campaign places like Trafford. Uh, they, uh, yes, yeah, so the Northeast, Northwest, everywhere. This is the last batch that was getting ready to go out in the Northeast of England. According to the Walls of Westminster, the conversations above took place in a Momentum WhatsApp group chat called Let's Go NHS, which is intended for NHS staff to gather and coordinate their campaigning for the Labour Party under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn at the time. The organisation is presently campaigning for Rebecca Long-Bailey to lead the party. We have verified uh, to the best of our ability that Chloe, who appears in the group chat above, would appear to be the same Chloe Tomlinson, the Momentum Officer, who is also said to have hosted the conference call. Now, considering the mainstream media haven't picked this up just yet, and if they decide to ignore it, uh, this is the whole point of the new media and, well, YouTube channels like this, and I'm working with others as well uh, to uh, spread the word, and uh, hopefully we could get somewhere with this. Now, <laughs> I, I, I'm not fully confident that the Electoral Commission uh, would not be biased, but hopefully they'll do their job because recently even they've been exposed of uh, being unfair when it comes to being a referee or being a judge. So we will keep you guys updated on this. This is a very good expose that the Walls of Westminster did, uh, and hopefully you'll be hearing more about this. Now, moving on to the uh, what's dominating the news uh, these days uh, with the health issues. Now, the virus is obviously getting everywhere, and the, the UK government have uh, they held a press conference yesterday with Boris Johnson and the health professionals they gave their advice unlike other countries uh, they're not going to completely panic and shut down the whole country so that's the decision 
a lot of people who are not health professionals are freaking out on the uh, uh, the media side, you know, Piers Morgan, you know, Rory Stewart and everyone. And uh, Kay Burley from Sky News is also one of the people who's freaking out. Uh, he, she had Ricky Sunak. Uh, she was interviewing Ricky Sunak, the new chancellor. And she asked him if the government should be panicking or if Boris Johnson is actually being complacent. I am sure that you've been in contact with people for more than 15 minutes who have potentially got COVID-19 and you don't know because they're not showing symptoms. Yeah. Why not just have a test? Yeah. No, Kate, with the greatest respect, I'll take my advice from the chief scientific officer and the chief medical officer in public health England. Now, none of us are actually experts in this field, so I'm not even going to be pretending uh, which is the best route, because there are countries like Italy and other places who have shut down everything. It hasn't actually slowed down the pace, and the whole country is in a panic mode. Uh, the, uh, the UK, are they, they, they're saying it's counterproductive to close down the schools or uh, big gatherings at this point. And uh, the, they say that the, the, the rate and the pace is under control. So um, they could be right, they could be wrong. We will judge them as it happens. But we are gonna be talking about all these health updates in more detail. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna have a special live stream episode on our membership club. Uh, so if you're part of our YouTube membership club, uh, make sure you join us. If you wanna uh, join us, become a member, check out the link in the description or you could go on your browser and type in youtube.com slash myotc slash join. Uh, you might also be able to find the join button next to the subscribe button on the homepage. Uh, so we're doing the, the special live episode uh, tomorrow, but our normal daily show on the main YouTube channel, the, the free channel will also stay as usual. Uh, and uh, apart from that, I'm myotc. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.